Hi, this is Rob. If you watched the video on deploying a Spring Boot CRUD app using Elastic Beanstalk in this playlist, you'll recall that deployment was a manual process. In this video, we'll use AWS Code Pipeline to implement the CICD pipeline, which will automate deployment of code changes pushed to the project's GitHub repo to the Beanstalk environment. Please note that this video will use the same Spring Boot app RDS database and Beanstalk environment created in the prior video in which we built the app. So if you'd like a walkthrough of that process, checking out that video will help. So picking up with our app deployed to the Beanstalk environment, I've launched Postman and I'll test the endpoints to make sure everything is still working as expected. Here, I'll make an HTTP GET request to the contacts route to the application running on Beanstalk and we see we have one contact in the database. Now I'll make a post request to the contact route to add another contact. Then go back and make the get request again, and we see we have a contact with the cell equal to null. So now I'll make a patch request to the contact route, passing a contact ID of two and providing a cell number. And making the get request again, shows the contact with the updated cell. And finally, I'll make a delete request to the contact route, passing the contact ID of the new contact we just added. And the get request confirms we now only have one contact in the database. Now, we'll switch our focus to AWS Code Pipeline to implement automated deployment. First, however, I want to jump into the POM file and add a final name node for the name of the jar file to be built and deployed. And I also need to create a build spec YAML file in the root of the project folder for the code build service. And in the build phase of the build spec file, I'm executing the maven clean package command to build the jar file. And then I'm pointing the artifact file to the contacts app jar file in the target folder, which is the final name that I added in the POM file. Now I'll go ahead and push these changes to the GitHub repo. And if we jump over to the repo, we see the final name added in the POM file and the build spec YAML. All right, now it's time to head over to the code pipeline server. I'll start by creating a pipeline and giving it a name I'll let AWS create a new service role for me and then click next. In the source provider, I'll select GitHub and then connect to GitHub. I'll select the repository I want to use, which is the Beanstalk demo, and then the branch. I'll leave GitHub webhook selected and click next. And for the build provider, I'll select AWS code build. Now I need to create a project. I'll give it a name, use the managed image, for Amazon Linux 2. The runtime will be standard, and I'll pick the latest image. I'll keep the default service role and the default to use a build spec file, and then continue to code pipeline. Then I'll click Next, and for the deploy provider, I'll pick Beanstalk, select the app name and the environment, and click Next. And finally, create pipeline. Okay, so now all steps in the pipeline have successfully completed. So I'll grab the endpoint to the Beanstalk environment and load the endpoint with the contacts route and we get back the response with the one contact in our RDS database. Now I'll jump back into the code and make a code change. So I'll open the health controller and just add a mapping to the root route, save the change, and then jump over to the terminal and push this change to GitHub. And with the change pushed to the repo, if we jump back into code pipeline, we'll see that the source phase is now in progress. Now the source phase has succeeded, and now the build is in progress.
build is completed, and the deploy has completed as well. And if we jump back over to the browser and hit the root route on the Beanstalk environment, we see we get a 200 response code for the root health check. So that completes this video on implementing a CI CD pipeline using GitHub and AWS code pipeline. I hope you found this useful.